Hi, welcome to a short video showing that when Microsoft's forefront identity manager software, FIM, and Gemalto's.NET smart card are combined, the resulting corporate badge becomes a sort of employee passport, enabling its holder to carry out a whole range of valuable tasks, ranging from digitally signing documents to potentially buying a cup of coffee. So now we're looking at the architecture of a typical FIM deployment. FIM in fact automates the processes of uh, identity management providing identity synchronization, certificate management and user provisioning in a single solution. As a result, IT organizations can define and automate the processes used to manage identities from creation to retirement. The user has access to a portal which allows them to carry out a variety of operations themselves such as requ requesting smart cards, requesting or renewing certificates, requesting the unblocking of a smart card, or indeed requesting authentication via a one-time password. So let's drill down even further and focus on what a user can really do with their .NET corporate badge. Firstly, a user can use their .NET card for smart card logon, signing and encrypting emails, and signing Microsoft Office documents such as PowerPoint, Word and Excel. Off company premises when an employee is working from home or traveling then either the same .NET company badge can be combined with Gemalto's SA server for authentication using a one-time password or the employee could use another device such as their telephone on which they have the Proteva one-time password application installed. Thirdly, the employee badge could also be integrated with devices that are not managed by FIM but can still add a lot of value in the eyes of the badge holder such as an e application for a vending machine or a system that allows access to the company car park. Finally, let's not forget that the smart card can be an excellent vehicle for adding physical identification features such as the employee photo, the employee number of course, but why not also some security printing features like a complex pattern printed on the card or a hologram that makes it even harder to falsify. So let's move to our demonstration now. We're on the user portal and uh, the user has just clicked on request a permanent smart card clicks on next inserts their smart card and now keys have been generated a request for certificates uh, will be made the user puts in their types in their pin the certificates are, are generated by the certificate authority and they are then written to the smart card. The user can have a look at uh, the certificates uh, stored on their card. So um, we're going to see that now. Clicks on show details of my certificate. And we can see the data relating to the certificate profile. Now we're going to do a second operation, which is uh, unblocking of a smart card. To so unblock the smart card, the user has a blocked card uh, in their reader. So the process uh, starts. User can provide some data about why and how their card became blocked. Clicks on next. Select the read-on in which the card is inserted. And then the user is asked to uh, choose a new PIN and to confirm it. Clicks on OK. And the process for unblocking continues. So there we are, the card is unblocked. And that's the end of our little video. Thanks for watching, and please be aware that there are other use case videos on this portal. Bye bye for now.